Hello everyone, my name is Leah Holton and welcome to my Vogue makeup. Hey, so if you can't tell, I'm trying to do a little Vogue inspired makeup tutorial. I get quite a few requests all the time to do like Vogue inspired makeup tutorials and I thought instead of copying someone else's, why don't I do my own? So I've done my hair all long and Vergy. I'm wearing my robe. You know, you gotta be bougie. So, Vogue, welcome. So yeah, I'm gonna get into the makeup. Actually, no, you can't do a Vogue tutorial without freaking doing your skin. So first what I'll be doing is taking the $700 hair clip and just getting my bangs out of the way. I use so many different products, it's not even funny. But today I feel like using the Ordinary Squalane cleanser i just got this one and i always like trying new things out but this one has been good to me so far and what you're supposed to do is get a little bit and warm it up between your fingers and then wash it with water i just got my hair wet okay so now that i've ruined the bottom of my hair and my face is all clean i'm going to apply my serums and stuff i was going to put on a mask but like i don't want to wait 10 minutes but i'll show you what mask i would use <laughs> i love that <laughs> like this is supposed to be like a vogue freaking tutorial and i'm like i will put on this mask but like i can't be bothered <laughs> wait maybe i should I really can't be bothered though. Guys, I've been doing too many masks lately. Like I hope you can understand, but this is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. I do like this, as you can see, I've used it a couple times, but yeah. If I was to wear a mask, I'd wear this one. All right, and this I put on day and night. This is the Ordinary. I use a lot of the Ordinary, gee believer. So first I put on the Hyaluronic Acid, but you have to make sure your face is a little bit damp for that. So I'll just quickly pat my face with some water now that I dried my face, like what? Just damp, you know? And then I don't like to put much, especially if I'm gonna be wearing makeup, like literally only one pump. And then I press or rub that into my skin. I don't know. Oh crap. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, Vogue, Vogue. And then I put on the Nice Cinnamide. This is so good. Again, just one drop. This gets rid of like pigmentation, I think. <laughs> But I love this. I love how it makes my skin look. It makes it like extremely glowy. I love it. I love it. Also, I need an eye cream. So if you know, no, no. If you know a good eye cream, please tell me. But this is Vogue. So pretend I'm not asking you for advice. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. But anyways, I think I soft up because I have these and like I never use them, but they're so bougie. Oh, I know what to do. I have this Elias Skin Vitamin C Supercharged Serum. This is great. And I use two pumps of that. And I'm gonna roll that into my face to feel bougie. And then I have this Gua Sha. I know there is a specific way, but I have not researched it. So I apologize. But usually if I use this, I just go like this. And then when I get to the edge, I kind of growing okay so now that i feel a little bit more bougie i'm going to put on my moisturizer today i shall be using the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus ha i just love the ordinary all right make sure to bring that down your neck but yeah my skincare is done roaches to freedom so now it's time for the best part the makeup so the other day I got gifted a whole heap of makeup from Hourglass. This is not sponsored, but I haven't tried out any of the products that they've sent, so I'm just really excited. And plus they look really bougie. So if there's an excess of Hourglass products, I apologize, but I'm just so excited to try it out. So to start off my makeup, I will not be putting on a lip gloss. I will be putting on this Hourglass lip oil. Are you kidding? I've never had anything like this. what lip oils do. All right, so next I will be priming my skin. This is the most bougiest little primer that I have. This is the Ilma Squar Primer. This makes me feel like a queen. It's this like clear jelly and it comes with a little spoon and it's just everything. Let me rub that around. Okay, so I will be starting off with eyebrows. So usually I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade 
Oh my God, dead brow. Freaking, it's a brow wiz. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. But thing I got gifted, this gorgeous product, I will be using it. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in the shade Dark Brunette. So I'm brushing my hairs up. And of course, today we're gonna go for a natural, glowing, beautiful look. And I'm not gonna fill in my brows that much. The other day I was in the car and I was plucking my brows mistake i actually like plucked too much up here i plucked too much under there but you know what let's just pretend that they look perfect everything i do in my life is with such precision so my brows i just have to make them perfect i actually really like this product for something natural see how there's like a bump there yeah that's where i pluck too much of my eyebrow but i really actually like this pencil because it's easy to control because the end is so tiny love it okay so now i'm taking the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel and i'm just brushing my eyebrows as up as they will humanely go i usually use the benefit one but you know we're bougie today aren't we beverly hills just sounds more bougier you get what I mean? And I will not be carving my brows today. I know. That's why I had to fill them in with such precision. Usually I do my eyes first, but today I'm taking a spin. Uh, I'm using this Bali Body BB Cream. I always use foundation, but today I'm a changed woman, aren't I? And I'm blending it in with this Hourglass Foundation Brush. I've actually had one of these myself for ages, and I get so many of you guys asking about it because it's just the best foundation brush ever. Yeah, and it's Hourglass, and they sent me a new one, so very happy. Okay, I don't feel caked enough. I feel very naked. It looks like I'm wearing nothing, so I'm just putting more and more and more. Gotta bring it down the neckle jekyll heckle peckle. That actually blends in with my skin really nicely. Makes me look a bit tanned. You didn't really cover up those pimples there, but you know what? I'm still allowed. Okay, so I have these three little concealers from Hourglass, and they are just so cute. They're the Vanish Airbrush Concealers. Sounds very nice. I don't know which one to use, so I'll just use all three. <laughs> Why did I do that face? Put a dot of each one and just hope for the best, you know? They all look very similar. I think they just have different undertones. And I have this little hourglass brush that I will be blending it in. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. My skin looks great. I'm very happy with this. I'm like loving it. <sighs> Gotta get into character, you know? I'm slipping. I'm slipping a bit. I'm I'm also just gonna highlight in these areas. Stunning. Extremely happy with this skin. I'm so hungry, my God. <gasps> what is this? Okay, I just opened this just for fun, but this is, <laughs> but this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It has a H. Get out. Get out. I said get out. Let me shake it up a little bit. <gasps> like yellow. I'm gonna take this brush. Oh, that was... I don't think before I do, do I? No, I don't, ever. I don't ever think. There's nothing in my head. I'm just putting that everywhere because like, I don't know. I guess that's what you do. All right, so I'm taking the Scott Barnes, the contour palette, and I'm taking these two shades and I'm just gonna contour my life away as I always do. And today I wanna be like chiseled to the gods. And then I'm contouring the nasal cavity here. I'm gonna take this, runs up my eyes, and bring it out so I look like a cat. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue to do my thing. I guess that looks all right. I'm gonna go with this darker color. I'm just darkening up this outer corner, yellow swag. All right, so now I'm taking this really dark color and this eyebrow pencil. I'm gonna create like a little wing because I literally cannot live my life without a wing. It's impossible. Okay, now I'm gonna e-girl blush with this hourglass blush. It's called Sublime Flush. Hey, that rhymes with blush. I'm just gonna pretty princess pink my life up. Okay, now with this KVD Vegan Beauty mini shade and light palette, I'm taking the light color and I'm going to reverse contour my nose because I just didn't contour it well enough, you know? I need that snatched nasal cavity. I'm also gonna put it under my eye here and I feel like that lifts it so much. <laughs> to set my face with the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. Look how fancy this looks. Wait, I'm gonna test it. That was fun. I love that. 
Okay, I have like 732 highlighters to choose from, so I'm gonna choose wisely. I have this from Hourglass. It is this sparkly stuff. I'm just getting way too overexcited, but I'm gonna take this on a mini brush. That is like freaking beautiful. I'm gonna put that in here as well. That is just a stunning product, isn't it? And if someone doesn't stop me in about five seconds, I'm gonna go overboard, so. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's coming in to stop me, so I will continue. Okay, I also have this <laughs> Fenty Beauty highlighter that I shall be using. Oh my god, I'm so glowy. All right, I'm going back in with this dark brown shade, and I'm going to create an inner eye cat wing, and that just really elongates my eyes. Elon Gates, Elon Musk, Gates, Bill Gates. I'm actually thriving with how this makeup's turning out. <laughs> okay, so I'm now taking the MAC Carnivorous Lip Liner and you best believe I'm gonna overlay my lips to the fullest. Are you kidding me? Who is this? It's a new woman. I'm putting some of this KVD Vegan Beauty Vinyl Lip Cream on. That is in the shade Blossom. I'm now curling my lashes. Where does Vicky needs to stop? This doesn't happen in Vogue video. What am I supposed to do? Call the council? No. I don't have those rights. Right, I'm now using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Look at that. Look at the difference. And Miss Hourglass gifted me this mascara, Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. How freaking bougie is this? Like, what? Okay, it's getting to the point of spideriness, but I'm living. I literally have like a stitch in the side of my body from standing for so long. Yeah. I always wonder if like Kim Kardashian or like massive celebrities, if they get like massages like twice a day, because if I was a massive celebrity like that, I would get a massage every day when I wake up and every night before bed. That's just what I would do. That's just what would have to be done. This mascara is insane. Like actually insane. That just lengthened them and thickened them so much. I'm gonna draw on a couple freckles because I feel like that would just make it look extra natural and cute. I'm doing it with the Scott Barnes contour palette. Okay, again, I might've gone overboard with the freckles. But yeah, I think this is the finished makeup look. I'm actually so happy with how this looks. I think it is so natural and pretty. And I'm also really happy with all of the Hourglass products and all the new products that I tried. So if you want to feel like you're in vogue, go in a bathroom, do your skincare, do your makeup, do your hair, and best believe you will feel like a bad belief. So yeah, Vogue. <laughs> Hit me up, I'm ready. Like this was my kind of audition. So like, I know that now you'll probably like want me on, right? Right? I'll be waiting. My inbox is open. But yeah, thank you my Vogue children for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Vogue YouTube channel and make sure to follow me at Leahalton underscore. I'm gonna go lie down in bed now. So yeah, love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Bye.